Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I did my last health class. So today we're going to discuss about the three common symptoms, early symptoms of diabetes. My name is Ryan and I specialize in diabetes, alcohol and other drugs, men's sexual health and primary care. So stay tuned and we'll be discussing about these three early signs of diabetes. We call them three P's. What are these three P's? Keep on watching. Now, as we all know, diabetes has three major types. Okay, we have type 1 diabetes, we have type 2 diabetes, which is the most common uh, di type of diabetes, and we also have diabetes in pregnancy. And what is diabetes? Well, to explain it to you briefly, diabetes is having an excessive amount of sugar in your body. That's how I explain it briefly on a layman's term. What are the early signs of diabetes mellitus? We have what we call the three P's. What are these three P's? We have number one, we have polydipsia. Number two, we have polyuria. Number three, we have polyphagia. And I'm going to be explaining each one of these early symptoms one by one. We'll start with polyuria. What is polyuria? Polyuria is excessive urination or increased urination. Why is this happening? Now, we have to know, usually and normally, adults usually make up about three liters of urine per day. But with polyuria, you could make up up to 15 liters of urine each day. And as a, as a body's normal compensatory mechanism, the body will try to get rid of those excess fluid in your body. That's why you will be going to the toilet constantly. So remember, Usually three liters of urine per day, from three liters to 15 liters of urine per day. You're going to be watching out for dehydration because if you urinate that often, that huge amount of urine every day, there's a chance of dehydration. That means low levels of fluid in your body and that can be dangerous too. Polyuria could also happen to people who doesn't have diabetes more commonly being experienced by people who are taking medications such as diuretics. Diuretics can, can make you go to the toilet more often than usual. So what is the pathophysiology of polyuria? In a simple way of explaining it to you guys, if there is an excess uh, fluid in your body as a body's no normal compensatory mechanism, your body will try to get rid of this excess fluid in the urine, in a form of a urine. So when the sugar levels in your body is high, they are excreted out of your body together with the urine. Water follows sugar concentration passively. If there's an increased sugar in your body, the urine will follow the sugar. Then it is being excreted out of your body, leading to abnormally large output of urine. Polyuria. Let's talk about the second P, which is polydipsia. What is polydipsia? Polydipsia is increased thirst, excessive drinking. When sugar levels goes up, you feel thirsty all the time. Remember what I told you earlier, if your sugar level in your body is high, water will always be there. Water will always follow the sugar and excrete it out of your body in a form of urine. Now, if your body excretes large, abnormally large amount of urine, then that will make your fluid level in your body to go down. That will lead for you to be thirsty. Sometimes if you excrete huge amount of, of fluid out of your body, it can lead to excess, excessive thirst. That's why you are feeling thirsty all the time. You will feel the need to drink water over and over again. There is persistent feeling of dryness in your mouth. If there's also low levels of fluid in your body, it can also slow the wound healing. You will easily feel tired as well and there might be abnormal weight loss. There's also electrolyte imbalances 
such as low magnesium, potassium, calcium. It can lead to mu muscle cramps, it could be probably seizure, spasms, and other medical conditions. You also have to be watching out for dehydration because if you are constantly thirsty and you're not replenishing what you have lost fluid-wise, then it will lead to dehydration. Now let's talk about the third P, which is polythagia. What is polythagia? Now let me just explain it to you. That sugar is like the, the, ga the gasoline or the petrol in our body. In order for us to, to move, in order, in order for me to talk to you right now, in order for me to breathe, we need sugar. It's like a car. In order for a car to drive, your car needs petrol. Your car needs gasoline. It's just like our body. Our body needs sugar in order for our body organs to keep on working. Now, if we have sugar in our body, it's our cells that will eat those sugars and convert them into fuel in order for us to function effectively on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, what happens if there is polyphagia in diabetes? Those sugar are unable to enter the cells or the cells aren't able to eat those excessive sugars in your body. And the most common reason is that due, it's due to uh, low levels of insulin in your body or insulin resistance. And this will lead to excessive hunger, polyphagia. Now for people with diabetes, especially those who are taking insulin, which is a very potent diabetes medication. And for those people who are type one, di who, who's got type one diabetes, you have to watch out for hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is a medical term for very low blood sugar level. If your blood sugar level is usually the, the guidance is below four millimoles per liter, then that is hypoglycemia. It is a very dangerous complication of diabetes. So if you've got polyphagia and you, and, and you don't treat this, it might lead to hypoglycemia, which is you know decreasing levels of your of your sugar in your body until you reach that stage that is very dangerous already. Some of these cases are very dangerous and the patients might need to be sent to the hospital for acute treatment. Three Ps, we have polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphagia. When I say poly, that means increase or multiple. When I say polyuria, that means poly, Excessive, increase, multiple. Urea means urine or urination. So if it's polyuria, that means multiple or increased urea, urine. Increased urination, excessive urination. When I say polydipsia, poly means increase or multiple. Dipsia is thirst. So that means poly, increased, dipsia, thirst, increased thirst. When I say polyphagia, that means increase or multiple. Phagia is hunger, excessive hunger. Poly, increase, phagia, hunger. Excessive or increased hunger. And these three are the most common early signs of diabetes. So you need to be watching out for these three P's of diabetes. These symptoms can develop quicker in type 1 diabetes and can be slower for people who has type 2 diabetes. That's it everyone. Next video, we're going to be discussing about the common diabetes complications. Be sure to consult your doctor on a regular basis in order for you to avoid these symptoms from developing into a worse state. And not only that, for them to monitor your diabetes and make sure that there is an effective manage management plan on how to control your sugar in order for you to improve your diabetes in general and for you to avoid diabetes complications from happening. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Stay safe, be healthy.